With alt season here, is it too late to be buying altcoins for 10,000 X gains? So we're going to answer on today's video, but I'm going to be looking at altcoins, which I believe have great potential for 10 X in the near future. This is your home of hopium free content, your nopium crypto channel. If you enjoy the content on the channel, let me know down below by hitting that like button right here and the subscribe and bell notification icon so you can be notified when I post more cryptocurrency content like this. YouTube has a way of shadow banning crypto content, so make sure you aren't shadow banned away from me and hit the bell notification and all. All right, today's video, I'm going to dive into 10 altcoins I still believe have pretty decent potential to be getting us those massive gains. First up, warning, scammers are throughout the comments, even comments which you don't believe are scams, are generally turn out to be scams. So be very aware of what's going on down there. They're using my face and my name. That's generally not me replying. So take a look at that. And I will not send you my WhatsApp, Telegram, or email in the comment section. All official links to this video are in the description and the exchange that I'll be using is Swiftex. It's an Australian based exchange. So for the Aussies, you guys can use Swiftex and I'll show you that some of these cryptocurrencies are on that exchange. For the internationals, there is a link to Binance. Let's take a look at the first cryptocurrency I have here and that is API3. Now I didn't mention, these are all gonna be under $100 million market caps. That's why I still think they have potential to get that 10X. Now there's gonna be a very similar agenda across many of these cryptocurrencies. The main things I look for with these are that they are in some buzzword space. DeFi, oracles, smart contracts, something in the space of finance generally allows a lot of these cryptocurrencies to boom far beyond what they are actually really worth in say real dollar terms. So that's a major thing at first. The other thing like I've mentioned is under 100 million because we need to have small market caps in order to get big gains. Thirdly, circulating supply. If the entire supply is released, it's gonna be a lot easier to get these gains going on as opposed to something like API3 where the circulating supply is quite low compared to the overall supply. Now, why I still include these is because I'm not holding these long term. These are hit it and quit it type cryptocurrencies. We have to allow for this supply to be hitting the market, which could then dampen the price in the future. So as long as this supply isn't coming out for the next three, six, nine months, we should be okay. We're waiting for these gains to eventuate in the next three or so months. API3 is in that space of the buzzword space, being that it's a, a decentralized oracle. It actually labels itself as a chain link killer. So if that isn't a buzzword enough, I don't know what is in this time, day, space and age. API3 is looking good. It's had a little bit of a move already. Started looking at it at around $2, currently sitting at $4.80. So an easy 100, 150% so far. But I still think there is much more potential to come as it's only at 68 and a half million. That's about as far as I take it when it comes to a lot of these cryptos. I also wanna to go to their website and just make sure that they are saying what they're doing and then also some of their social medias. So in the case of API3, they have a ton of partners coming on board, partnered with Plasma, partnered with Omen, partnered with Ethereum Alliance, and so on. There's usually something coming out almost every other week. So if we do see a lot of partnerships come through, that is obviously a great sign that they are working on what they say they're working on. Staking, Oracles, DeFi, huge thing going on. Chainlink killer, all of the great buzzwords. I like API3 and it is being talked about a lot on social media with other creators, content creators, influencers, whatever you want to call them. That is also a great sign because that is going to push more eyeballs to this particular project. Moving on, I've got Travala. Now, I don't own any Travala, API3 I do. Travala, I think, is a great project because it is one of the only in the space that allows payment in cryptocurrency for any sort of travel. Now, of course, there isn't that much travel going on at the moment with all of the lockdowns, but they are still finding a lot of ground in their market share especially with a chart like this. Now, what I'm looking for here is that they are getting a move on against their Bitcoin value because at the end of the day, we're trying to stack sats when we take on the extremely high risk 
of buying into these no-name coins, these shit coins, these old coins. So we want to make sure we're improving our Bitcoin value, not only our USD value. Otherwise, why take the risk on? We should have just bought Bitcoin. Meaning if their BTC value continues to slide down, but their dollar value is increasing, then it's likely Bitcoin's price is going up and this particular altcoin is just losing BTC value, but maintaining its USD value. With that in mind, Travala looks like it is having a turn on its BTC value as well as its dollar value. Two positives, I like to look at that. Not only is it a low cryptocurrency market cap, the circulating supply is getting close to its total supply. So a lot of the supply is already out in the market. Travala is number two. Next up, I have DFI Money. Now I've taken this one on because it is a low market cap again, $73 million. Circulating supply, very, very low. And the total supply is now out. So it's completely released. It's a couple of percent there, not going to make a big difference, especially with a price tag of 1800 US dollars per YFII, which also can be confusing as we have a YFI token, Yearn Finance, which is currently just sitting a touch under a billion dollars. So with that in mind, there can be some confusion as you're buying your, your tokens. Uh, they've also got a very similar logo. It's just the same logo as Yearn Finance, except flipped on its side and in pink rather than blue. So for me, this is kind of like the ripoff of Yearn Finance. And that's precisely what they're trying to do if we have a look through what is DeFi money. DeFi money, also known as YFII, is a fork of popular decentralized finance DeFi aggregator platform Yearn Finance. Launched in July, it aims to optimize returns for DeFi investors while adhering to changes proposed in an upgrade called uh, plan called uh, YIP-8. Although it may not get to the same level as the billion dollar market cap, a 10x from here would get us to around 730 million. And I definitely think that's possible, especially with all of the added features going to it and in the confusion of crazy bull markets. I've definitely got my little slice of DFI. Moving on, next is Teller. Teller also $56 million market cap. Circulating supply almost completely out. So that's another great sign that it's all out there on the open market. The chart is looking good. We're having a little turnaround in the BTC price as well as the USD price. So technicals look good. In terms of the fundamentals, this is another decentralized project. So it's trying to solve the Oracle problem on Ethereum. So added that to the mix of good technicals, good fundamentals. It has the pump potential. Teller looks like another good one for the list. It is low market cap, circulating supplies out. A lot of good ticks there. Next up is audio the ticker symbol of audio and it's audius now this one has a low market cap 27 million the circulating supply is only about 12 percent of the total supply but what i like with this is the chart it hasn't got too much overhead room and it's on a very minor uptrend audius is a platform that you can stream music on so it has a product already i think that'll do quite well and there is a use for the token so if you're staking the audio token you get added benefits on this platform i don't see it as an ethereum or a DeFi killer or anything like that but because the market cap is so low a 10x isn't too difficult to a 270 million dollar project it seems pretty reasonable for this sort of blockchain project and although it may not stay at 270, it could get a nice 10x when the market starts to move. Very, very low market cap and the charts are looking pretty decent. Not too much overhead problems there. Next up, I have DIA. DIA is something that I researched for a long time. It's another decentralized oracle. I don't think all of these decentralized oracles are going to make it. But in terms of DIA, they have a pretty solid team. Their circulating supply is down, unfortunately, but they have a uh, token release plan, which looks quite favorable for us in the short term. If we're looking to make a 10X off a $54 million market cap, I see it as a project that could be held long term. Obviously, this is, none of this is financial advice, but looking at YouTube, this is a great interview to watch. Blockchain Brad, another Aussie cryptocurrency content creator, makes extremely valuable content 
doesn't get the views of some other guys out there, uh, but the content within his channel is fantastic. So if you wanted to learn more about Deer or many other cryptocurrency projects, Blockchain Brad does some great work over there. So Deer could be another one for the list. I don't know uh, about it long term, but in terms of a short term, it's got all the ticks, uh, ticks all the boxes there. A decentralized Oracle, good hype stuff, good team, low market cap, low price. I think it looks good. Yield, Yield app. Now this is the lowest market cap out of any of the top 10 here. $8 million. So this could be probably the most riskiest out of all of them. Circulating supply is quite low uh, compared to the total supply, which is at 300 million, but that's the max supply. So we could be seeing just a total supply for the meantime until the release schedule uh, starts to take effect. Now, Yield app comes onto my radar mainly because of the $8 million market cap but they have a, uh, an app where you can use it for any sort of decentralized finance. You're gonna get yield returns on it and it looks like a very clean looking website and very easy to use in terms of this app. So the product looks good. It looks like they're hitting the right market. We've talked about all this decentralized finance stuff. Even if it only got a 10X from where it is, it's an $80 million project. Pretty much everything we've looked at here is around 50 to 80 million dollars. So a 10X from this point probably isn't too far fetched, especially when the market gets going. In the last 24 hours, we've already seen 17% on this market. So that's why this one is very much on my radar as uh, another for the uh, the altcoin season pump. Now in terms of where we can get it from, we need to scroll, uh, have a look at the markets. Uh, Uniswap, one inch, and Bitmax is where we can get it from. This is one of those projects that we can't get on SwiftX. However, most of the other projects we could get on SwiftX. Moving on, we've got a few more to go through. PokerStarter is something I've talked about on the channel many times before. We've seen uh, about 50% increase since the last time we spoke about it. The circulating supply looks reasonably okay compared to the total supply. Still a low market cap of 80 million. It has all the buzzwords. It's connected with Polkadot, which everyone loves, and that project's gone absolutely nuts. And in terms of PokerStarter, it is basically like Ethereum ICOs, back in 2017. It's a platform, it's a de decentralized platform to raise capital. And that's what ICOs were doing back in 2017 and continue to do so now. So that to me really shows that this could pump a hell of a lot more uh, as people find out about it. Right now we're sitting at 80 million. Could this be an $800 million? I personally believe so. I definitely think we're going to see a 10x out of Poker Starter. May not be the quickest one to get there, but in terms of a 10x, I've got my money on Poker Starter to get to that $800 million level. Last up, second last is Reef. Reef also in that space. It is an exchange trading market. Reef gets liquidity from everywhere, both centralized exchanges and decentralized exchanges. Reef is powered by Polkadot as well. It's also on Binance, so a lot of easy ways for people to get into Reef. That ticks the boxes. It's got the names, it's got the branding, it's got the marketing, it's got the market fit because there are problems with exchanges and all the fees, so that also helps. Uh, branding, like I said, looks fantastic. It's $88 million market cap, up 20%, 19% overnight, and it's at 2.7 cents. Where can we get it? I'm pretty sure we can get it from Binance because they are partnered with Binance. And there we have it. Binance, Uniswap, two massive markets, huge, huge volume already being traded for Reef, which means there is a lot of exposure to it. Unless it's wash trading, but that's out of the scope for today's video. Let's just take a look at where we're at in terms of the volume. $127.5 million of trading volume on an $88 million market cap. That's pretty wild. So Reef is definitely well up there on the list. Barnbridge, $53. What the hell did Barnbridge do? Now this is just like a hedge for any of your cryptos. Fluctuating derivatives protocol for hedging yield sensitivity and market price. So I don't see this going too far in terms of the top 20 or top 50. I'm not saying it can't, but in terms of a 10X, I think it has the potential to do that, especially with what it's offering. Fluctuation, derivatives, protocol. So basically, you wanna hedge your bets on your yield, then you're gonna use a software like 
uh, like Barnbridge. Barnbridge is stacked with features for hedging your yield. So I, I see it as another project that could really take off and probably get us to our 10x of $630 million. Now we can only buy it on Uniswap and one inch. These other exchanges I don't use, but these two are pretty reasonable. So that makes it a little bit more difficult to get onto Barnbridge. That is my top 10 altcoins for 10x, 100x, 1000x, whatever buzzword you want to hear. But like I said in the video, I like the look of 10x's on these coins for those reasons. Now these are hit it and quit it type cryptocurrencies. They aren't proven, so they're not something I would hold long term. Short term, something around the vicinity of three to nine months, just depending on where this next altcoin cycle takes us. Hit it and quit it is very important in this game. I'll show you a couple of examples that I have been in myself. This is Nexus. Nexus once hit $14, uh, 14 US dollars. Now it currently trades at 40 cents. I happened to live through these peaks. My portfolio went wild. The market was wild. However, I continue to hold these and lose a lot of the gains that came from uh, holding Nexus. I don't have anything against the team. I don't have anything against any of them. It's not their fault about this price. It's the market. And that's what happens in the market when it gets hyped. You get massive spikes and massive dumps. Don't be one of those people. Just take a lesson out of someone else's book or check out the charts yourself. Other thing that could happen is Raiden, something like Raiden, boom and bust. And while the market is now going off, we're seeing a lot of things pop off, Raiden is yet to move. Now, I've saw this one was quite a popular token amongst Aussies and nothing has happened to it since. And uh, basically just losing out on potential gains elsewhere. I'm not saying that this can't bounce up again and get to a hundred million dollars, a billion dollar market cap, whatever it may be. It's just, it's a lagger. And if we want to make returns quick, we need to get onto the cryptocurrencies which are moving and are being talked about now to then flip out of those into something else. Maybe Raiden might be something we flip into next, but right now it's not getting the gains that we've seen elsewhere. That's something that I keep in mind every time I go to flip a crypto. I don't want to hold it long term because it's not proven yet, no matter how great the idea is. That's our top 10. If you found value, you know what to do. Hit the like button down below bell notification icon with the subscribe button, get us to 50,000 subscribers on the channel. I've also got 40% off the trading course, link in the description down below, limited time only till the 15th of February. If you wanna join us for the bull market, trading our cryptocurrencies, check out that link in the description down below. I'll see you guys at the next video. Until then, have more fun to get more done.